Anyhow, we're gonna reflect on these models when we go on this plane. We're about to take a drive into the city, well, fly into the city. <laughs> morning y'all welcome back to everyday hustle thank you for being here and since you're here hit that red button subscribe appreciate you guys being here starting off my day in the middle of the woods just getting some fresh air you know planning my day because there's a lot going on what did i got going on today um you know i think the universe is working for me in, in my favor at least the universe is always working but it's been working in my favor so as you guys probably know by now i've been growing my hair a bit and um, brands are starting to notice that. And a popular brand reached out to me. They want me to do my hair care routine. Okay, y'all? Can y'all believe that? Me doing a hair care routine? Never would have thought that. So yeah, they reached out to me. They're a brand in Walmart and I'm excited to partner up with them. So I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes of producing content for them. Another brand that reached out to me, I started wearing these glasses that look like Oakley and then the brand Oakley just reached out to me and I'm collaborating with them. I probably won't be doing any you know, behind the scenes or creating content for them in this video, but um, it's just been exciting to see how, when I put myself out there, you know, how things connect. So let that be a message to you guys. The more you put yourself out there, the more you show your true self, um, the possibilities are endless. Uh, so I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes of creating some content behind the scenes. Um, today should just be a, a easy going day, probably connect with my boy Josh later on, and um, we should have a lot of fun. I'm still, you know, f trying to get accustomed to not seeing the kids. As you probably seen in the last video, um, they've, I told you guys that, they, you know, they left me and they're in Canada right now for two weeks. I couldn't go to Canada because I don't have the luxury to do a 14 day quarantine and sit down in one place for 14 days. So unfortunately I won't be seeing them until early January. But idle time is, a you know, they, they, like they say is a devil's time. So I'm staying busy, I'm getting work done, I'm staying productive, I'm keeping upbeat. And I encourage you too, you know, when something happens in your life that is, you know, I guess not favorable, the best way to cope with it is to, to stay busy, doing positive things, stay upbeat, have, you know, positive things, positive self-talk is essential. Um, so that's what I'm all about. And um, let's get this day rolling. It's going to be fun. What's poppin' everyone? Back at the crib. Here's a brand that I'm gonna be working with. So I'm about to get my curls popping in a bit. Let me hide these other brands, because if you guys remember, brands don't like other brands appearing in their content. They wanna see the curls. They want the dream curls. John Frieda. But before we get into that, I wanna show you guys this amazing artwork that I received from an artist, J Dot. Really awesome, cool concept here. Me and the kitties. We're, it, we look like we're on some some floating in space rock, but look at this like this aura around us. But what's standing out for me are these arrows that can't penetrate. They can't come through. All right, this talk about messaging. Okay, this is hella deep. I really love this. I can't wait to put it up. So thank you to J Dot for sending me this. I almost shed a tear. I should shed a tear. Should I shed a tear for you? Anyhow, um, yeah, I love this picture. And thank you to everybody who sends me stuff. I love this. Can't wait to put it up. Let's get to the hustle though. All right, so I just pulled up into the clubhouse in my neighborhood, about to film the, the commercial for John Frieda's hair products that you can find in Walmart. If you guys recall, I said, I'm doing a campaign with them, showcasing my hair care routine, how I go from a man bun back to my curls and how the products help me achieve that. So again, it's my first time doing any hair care products, um, any hair care product promo. I'm kind of newbie, so all of the beauty creators out there, you know, send me some tips, okay? Because I'm kind of new to this, you feel me? 
should be fun. The first scene we're shooting here is pretty much me working out and explaining that I've had my hair in a man bun all week and I've been working out, which means there's been a lot of sweat and now I gotta take it back to my natural state, which is curl and I'm using the products by John Frieda to achieve the dream curls, okay? Let's get this rolling. Okay, so let's get right into my hair care routine. I'm using the Frizz Ease Dream Curl Shampoo and Conditioner. Y'all, my hair going crazy. All right. Is that cheating if I got my, my notes right there? It's not cheating. I gotta look at, I'm out, what the hell? All right, everyday hustle here. Last work, Ugh. last work of the day. You see how the obstacles come at you? Anyhow, about five, four months ago, I did a campaign with a brand called Roman, which is a man wellness subscription company. Essentially, you fill out a questionnaire online. Let's say you, you're trying to improve your skin, then you'll be consulted with the doctor. And if you qualify, they will send you in two days the right skincare. And they have a variety of wellness products for men, including sexual health, including vitamins, etc. Essentially, it's the one-stop shop for men's health and wellness products. Anyhow, I did an awesome campaign with them about four or five months, and they circle back. You know, that's a good indication when brands circle back. That means that they there's a mutual benefit, there's a mutual value, and I'm excited about collaborating with them. So I'm gonna tell you guys behind the scenes of creating all this content. Last video or so, I seen people asking, how do I get these opportunities? I actually talk about this in um, another video, which I will reference um, in the outro. So now you have no choice but to watch to the end of the video so you can see it show up in the end screen card of this video where I talk about how I get some of these brand deals, okay? Um, so if you're a creator, stay tuned to the very end. Let's head over back to my master bathroom to create the content for Roman. I appreciate you guys, you know, sticking around. And then I might have a little surprise for you guys. If you sticked around, you're gonna get an awesome surprise. So yeah, um, let's get to it. All right, so I'm changing the vibes. I'm always in sport, husky type of tire. I think I'm gonna do a little, you know, a little bit more of a grown up look for this shot. So let's get started with Roman. Roman's coming up, y'all. I don't know if y'all been seeing, you've been seeing Roman around. I've literally seen them on CNN. So clearly they got some investors doing the right thing. All right, y'all, so appreciate you guys staying tuned. I told you guys I'm gonna be going somewhere later in the evening, and I'm pretty much here. But before I reveal what we're planning to do, to do this evening, I wanted to chop it up with my main man, Josh. You know, last year, I had a motto. Okay, my motto last year was embracing all some fucking smoke, you dig? And that was pretty much my anchor to everything that I had to deal with this year. I was like, whatever, good, bad, ugly, in between. In my previous vid video, I said in the next video, which is this one, I would reveal what my 2021 model, model is. So, like, what was your model this year, would you say, bro? Well, this year, model, starting up from January? Yeah. Or for oh, do you have one coming up? Coming up, I know for sure I have one. Um, and basically it's morals to me. I wouldn't say just model. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna embrace these two morals. I think um, actually showing appreciation to the people that I love. Mm -hmm. And I, like that's in my life on a daily basis. Yeah, we took I got it for it. granted, I got for it. sure. Yeah, dog. And that's what this year showed me. I, I did next year, 
I'm showing love. I'm, I'm showing sure whatever you need. Love that. Do you need me? I'ma call you. I'm like y'all all right. Any right. everybody that I just think if I think about yeah. you, you might be getting a phone call from. Me. Mm -hmm. So and, and help wise too, the pandemic kind of showed me like any underlying things. Mm -hmm. It brought out whether it was depression, whether it was yeah. heart failure, whether it was so I help is gonna be another one hundred percent next year I'm going forward throughout, you know, in that aspect of just keeping myself where I'm at, because I'm not mm -hmm. trying to go, you know, I'm gonna embrace that too. So Yeah. Basically. Okay. I like that. Yeah. I got two. I have one, but you know what? I'm gonna balance it out. One is gonna be super positive and one is gonna be on, you know, like real time. Cause you know, I feel I feel sometimes people try you, you know. We'll start off with positive. The positive one is, I'm gonna pray and hope for people on an ongoing basis. So like, and that's for anybody, a stranger. You know what I'm saying? Like if I see a stranger there, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna say, God, whatever this person's going through. Some words up for them. They don't even have to hear that. That's just me no, and my, my creator for them. You know, if I could be in the steam room, if I see a dude there, hmm. whatever he's going through, you know, I hope he, he's right. able to walk through that. You know, because a lot of time prayer is so selfish. God, do this for me. I need this. <laughs> it's like, it's so selfish that act, if you really, really think about it. It's just all the time, me, 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 me. True. So I want to be able to do that for everybody, you know? Less me. My second one is, I don't care about vibes no more. Show me. You know, I'm going with what you show me. Fuck a vibe, I'm going with what you right, show me. That's real. Right? How much time, you know, we think the vibe is right in this and then we end up getting screwed over. So those are my two mm -hmm. models going into 2020. Comment below, let me know what you guys got. You know, mm -hmm. I hope you guys had some time to think about it. Anyhow, we're gonna reflect on these models when we go on this plane. We're about to take a drive into the city, well, fly into the city <laughs> around, around Atlanta and, uh, we gonna reflect on top of the city. You feel me? Let's go. This is my main man, Zach. He is an entrepreneur. And um, met him recently and we've been cooling. And um, he's given us the opportunity to go on his private plane. Congrats, by the way. You just got this. Like five days old, man. Five brand days old, plane. brand new yes, plane. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and um, super inspirational, man, just seeing that. I don't know anybody who has a plane. Like, that's amazing, man. So congrats to you. I know you put in a lot of work. I know the stresses you've been going through. Um, I mean, I'll tell you what, bro. 72 months ago, I got rid of my Toyota RAV4. So, uh, 72 months ago. <laughs> about five, six years, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's been a, it's been a long road to, you know, mm -hmm. to have the plane, to have the Bentley, to have, uh, have a lot of the things that have been sort of fruits of the labor of what, uh, what you know, the risks mm -hmm. that we took. So, I'm proud of Risk, it. risk, man. Guys, you can see 72 months, your life can change. You just got to be consistent. You got to put... Put in the work you gotta be embrace you know everything which is also kind of the hard part right i mean a lot of people when you think about that we're still talking five six years yep. right it's not five six months it's not five six weeks it's 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 over half a decade um but you know a lot of people overestimate what they can do in a year and really underestimate what they can oh, do in five yeah. or ten and when you start to really think about you know what can i accomplish day in and day out with that level of consistency mm -hmm. you start to realize that the Absolutely. I the always, the limit I always tell people who want to start something, especially like when they're talking about I want to do YouTube. And I always tell them, yo, give yourself a year. See, you know, if that's something you want to dabble in. Go consistently for a year. You know, a lot of people don't do it or some people do. And then they, they get that threshold. They, they get passed through that, that threshold. So, yeah, man, you got to stick with it. And um, you got to stay, you know, upbeat, enthusiastic. I think enthusiastic is key because it's so easy to just be sad or be down when things are not working your way. But you got to stay upbeat, man, and be enthusiastic as much as possible. Chip away. And, and you know, beyond that, though, discipline is mm -hmm. the word that a lot of people aren't really paying Discipline attention equals to. equals freedom. Because, because most people think that, you know, the, the, the level of excitement or passion that they have in that moment is gonna carry them through mm -hmm. that entire journey, yeah, which yeah. is not just gonna look like a roller coaster. I mean, it's gonna look like a roller oh, coaster you're, you're that, that is broken into pieces. Hit, this is why I don't do motivational videos anymore, mm -hmm. because motivation is just a quick spark. It's just a, a moment. You need to get to a point where you create a habit, a, decision. a lifestyle, and motive, you don't need motivation because you're, 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 you're tapped in. It's it's a lifestyle. You're going going hard is a lifestyle. Being consistent is a lifestyle. You don't need motivation. You live a motivational lifestyle. You're not motivated anymore. You just know what needs to be done. You're not looking for motivation anymore. You're just going. 
Um, anyway, let's go to the sky. How, how, how high are we going? 25, 20 feet? Oh, yeah, yeah. 20,000? Yeah, no, no. I mean, we're going to do a lap around the city. You know, a couple thousand feet up in there. We're going to fly around some buildings, see what we mm -hmm. got, man. Okay, let's do yeah. it. 